boys are You will never be the same today. Elite Kaidan. I sometimes feel that I am impersonating the dark subconscious. I'll read you loud and clear, monkey. Go ahead. Okay, I, uh... There's nothing here. The entire bathroom is, is clear. Okay, rookie. Meet up with us when you can. Understood. Oh! Hey, all you horror freaks out there! So we're changing it up in this episode. I will be doing the character mythos, Lisa Luss will be doing the movie facts, and Movie Massacre will be doing the review. So, anyway, you know what to do already. Follow them at the end of the video. So yeah, Ghostbusters, it's a classic. Ghostbusters 2, another classic. So lots of, we have a lot of different ghosts that have been flying all over the place and attacking New York City. But there's always one that a lot of people enjoy, like that's their favorite, Slimer. What the hell is Slimer? That's the question I've been asking for years. Is he a human being? He's like literally what a ghost is usually shaped like drawings and this and that, but I've always wondered, where does he come from? Was he a human once? I, I don't know. So, let's find out. So it turns out that Slimer isn't exactly human. He was a ghost made up of pure ectoplasm and the first ghost successfully captured by the Ghostbusters at the Sedgwick Hotel. Slimer is well known for his gigantic appetite and the slime he leaves behind when he passes through solid objects. And we know that he's made appearances in both films, the reboot, Ghostbusters cartoons, comics, and the video games. Not much is known about everyone's favorite ghost, but it is in the comics that you will find some sort of background on Slimer. In the real Ghostbusters Marvel Comics LTD series, Slimer was revealed to be the ghost of King Remus, an anagram of Slimer. And then in the 1992 annual by Now Comics, the profile of Slimer stated, in life he was extremely greedy and obese man. After death, he forgot all things about his life, even his own name, except the urge to continue eating. You ever notice how Slimer eats so much? It's ridiculous. He always looks like he can be at a buffet for weeks, and it wouldn't even bother him. Because then again, he is dead, so <laughs> it's not going to affect him in any way. In the films, they did not have any backstories on Slimer. Now, however, in the 2016 reboot, the director, Paul Fig, did create a backstory with the Ghostbusters writer. He said that Slimer was a gangster executed for killing a waiter who screwed up his order. Slimer started his afterlife as a more traditional ghoul but was disfigured when the Ghostbusters were called to the restaurant he was haunting. He says that in the original script, they came in, and since they have not tested their equipment yet, they didn't get the levels right, and the proton beams were too hot, and they blew his legs off, and it turned him green. So at the end of the day, none of this information is exactly canon, so Slimer continues to remain this mysterious ghost made of ectoplasm to hunger for food 24-7. I never do that. My mind has been blown. I lost my proton pack coming in here. I, I think I left it out in the car. The, the rest of the guys are waiting for me. Uh, I'm the rookie in the group, so I'm expected to do well. So yeah, I need to get out of here before I die. I need to go collect some traps. Anyway guys, I've been the Strange Monkey, and thank you very much for watching. You know what to do. For the movie facts, go to Lisa Love's channel. For the review, go to Movie Massacre's channel. 
and uh, have yourselves a good fright. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> Something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call?